Now it's pretty common to need to put runs of rivets or nails or fasteners or some kind of uh, fastening technology uh, between parts in an assembly, whether it's a sheet metal cabinet or whether it's a garden shed or a roof or some panel on a racing car or aerospace panels or something like that. So what I'm going to do today is show you a little technique. Um, this is a panel uh, from this sort of a vintage airplane, but just as, a, as an example. Uh, what I need to do is put a line of fasteners along here between the two orange components and these uh, stringers in between. So, you know, there's a new feature that's going to help us. Right now. So in, in the 1.175 release, which was January 12 this year, uh, we introduced a new feature called the offset curve. And I'll show you how you can utilize this uh, to your best um, advantage. Right, so an offset curve allows us to choose an edge like this, and then it will just offset uh, by a certain amount in like that. And so it's offsetting 25 millimeters in. So, of course, we could you know, type in uh, the correct value. At this point, it might be worth pointing out that these are just variable. You know, these are just values that could be, uh, you know, evaluated as expressions. Um, so let's do that, because in fact, there's some rules of thumb, or some rules, in fact, and regulations that say how close fasteners should be to the edges, and how close they should be when you pattern them. Um, so if we use, say, a three sixteenth uh, or a dash six fastener, so three sixteenth inch there, that's the diameter. Um, there is a rule you can look up that says that the edge factor it should be two point five diameters from an edge, and that the pitch should be four, a factor of four. So let's put them in as variables here, and let's use them over here. So let's put the edge factor multiplied by the diameter of the fastener which gives us this value in here. Um, now that's good, it's like 12 millimeters in. What we can also do with the new offset curve feature is do an extend all the way to the boundaries. Uh, this is more relevant if we have, uh, you, know, you know, if we have multiple faces that we want to extend across, we can do that as well. Uh, but here I'm going to also use the trim option and the trim option lets me inset those edges by a certain amount. And we've even got this convenient thing to say, let's equal trim them. And let's put the same formula in using a copy and paste. And you'll see that that offset from that boundary is now the same as the end trim. That's pretty handy because that's all in one feature, which is also parametric. Because if I go to a 1 8 inch fastener, you'll see that that updates nicely there. So that's all good. Um, now, what we're going to do is, uh, you know, in, in some cases, early sketching things out, having a line of where the fasteners are going to be is enough. But what we're going to do uh, is put a mate connector and maybe a hole and, and you know, maybe pattern it along here. Now, for this, I'm actually going to introduce uh, a couple of uh, custom features that I use a lot. So multi-mate connector is one that a customer, a partner has provided well worth looking this one up. The multi-mate connector is cool because I can you know, s uh, put the mate connector on the end of this curve but also provide the primary axis direction or the z-axis direction to be normal to this face uh, otherwise we would have had to choose a straight edge. Now this normal to face is, is a really good option as you'll see uh, for when we're going to um, move this hole across the pattern there. Right, so now I've got that in there. I'm going to cut a standard hole and I'm going to make the diameter, you know, the diameter of the hole and put it on that mate connector there. And, you know, in this case, it's going to scope itself through these three parts. Okay, that's cool. So let's hide that. Now, so you might have seen also an interesting thing after 175 is that custom features that introduce derived geometry such as datums, uh, mate connectors, planes, um, sketches, so things like that. Well, those derived ge pieces of geometry will actually show up now as, you know, sub features under this the tree here. You can see here the mate connector that was created by the multi mate connector custom feature has this shown here. It's, it's very, very useful. Um, I'm sure everyone will like that. 
So now we've got the hole in here, uh, let's do a pattern. Now a curve pattern will allow us just to say pick the, uh, the feature, say pick the hole and pick the path to pattern it along it and you see now we've got um, you know this a pattern of two, a party of two um, and we could using our same pitch factor times the diameter change that round it to the nearest integer carry the two we could work it out right you know we could create uh, an equation and an expression that we would put in here um, what I have done, because I do this quite often, is I've created my own custom feature. I'll use the option C to show you the custom feature, all the features that I've used recently. And there's one here called Curve Pattern Best Fit. Now, this is kind of my own customized version of the standard feature, where it, you know, it looks the same so far. We choose the feature to pattern. We choose the path to pattern along. Um, we're going to reapply the features just so this is exactly what we just showed before. However, there's a new option that I put in, which is best fit. So the best fit is going to put as many of those instances as it can along here, um, whilst remaining like an integer value. And again, this is going to be an expression. So I'll use the pitch factor multiplied by the diameter of the, um, of the fastener, and I think that was you know, four times, yeah, four times nearly five, so 19.05 uh, is the pitch. Now, we can't quite achieve that pitch because there has to be an integer number of fasteners, so it tells me here that there's a pitch error of point, uh, one, um, point 0.149. Now, you know, the standard says that it has to be a close to four, it can't be less than 3.5. Um, so that, you know, you can never achieve a 4.000000 pitch factor. Um, well, not never, but unlikely to. Uh, so this just gives you a sense of, you know, whether you're close and for design purposes. Anyway, that is pretty cool because it's all parametric. Uh, I could come back now and change the, um, the diameter of the fastener to say one eighth of an inch and it's going to change the offsets it's going to change obviously the hole um, and it's going to change the number of fasteners uh, or holes for the fastener um, all at the same time so these kinds of things can be programmatically you know bedded into and the design intent can be embedded into the model very very nicely um, you know, it's a combination of some new features like the, the offset curve uh, and it's a combination of built-in things like variables and parametric you know, functional expressions and things like that, uh, but also uh, a function of the feature scripting and custom features that we're able to do.